Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk all about a lip palette. That's right, we're going to talk about the Esam, you know you gotta love Esam, the Esam Lip Artistry Palette number 10, Nuance. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while, you might say, oh, you're not generally a lipstick person. You know, left to my own devices, I use a lot of liner and gloss. But there's one thing I love, and maybe you wouldn't have guessed this. I love a lip palette. They're fun. Okay, so let me talk to you about this one. I'll tell you why I've been using it a lot. I've had it. Isam was kind enough to send it over. Thank you so much, Isam. And I've been playing with it because the launch date, really officially, was the 28th. So I had to hold back, but I've been using it a lot, just not on camera. Okay, so now I get to tell you about it, and I've been playing with it so much. I know a lot. Okay, so basically we have this beautiful case right here. Nice hard, travels easily. You know, they're a makeup artistry brand. Um, you do know Isam, I hope. Muse, spelled backwards. They come from Muse Beauty. It is their makeup line, Isam. So we have this palette here, and it opens like this. And you can actually pull this top off and even put it underneath so it's out of the way and you can use it. Now we have 15 shades here. I'm going to swatch it in two different lights. We have 15 shades here of lightweight, pigment rich, buildable from stain to just full coverage and in a semi-matte finish. I'm actually wearing right now this third one here right now and I'm wearing it as a stain. I just kind of tapped it onto my lips but we're going to play with the other shades in here and build it and change it. The great thing about this is you have 15 kind of basic nuanced shades and you can build from there and create your own shade. It's really easy to do that. They're super creamy. I suffer from very dry lips and these do not dry out my lips. They are just really nurturing and gentle on the lips. So let's take a look at them first in studio lighting. Take a look at all 15 shades. I didn't mix them. These are just the basic shades which you're welcome to use just straight from the pot. Super easy. And this travels really well too. You can use your finger. You can use a brush. They're so pretty. But let's take them outside, shall we, into the warm. California sunshine. Take a look at all 15 shades just on their own, straight from the pot. I did the swatches with my finger, one swatch. They're highly pigmented. And what I did here, they talked about using them from a stain to a full shade. What I did here is I used this third shade in right there on my lips and cheeks. That's the great thing about this. It's a lip and cheek palette. I suppose you could do that with any lipstick, but I like that. Whenever the cheeks can draw in the eyes or the lips, it makes a more put together look. And in fact, today, really, I have some foundation on, the new house concealer, actually the MAC foundation. I've got my Westman Atelier mascara on, and just lips and cheeks the same. And it's a really polished, put together look, but we're going to play with this a little bit more. I've told you guys this in the past. I love, I use lip brushes, I do, but my favorite is a dense eyeshadow pencil brush. I have a bunch from Sonia G here. Actually, this one is Refer and the rest are Sonia G. I don't care how big it is. I just care that it's short and dense. I like working with those for lip products better than a regular kind of longer floppy lipstick brush because I just think it applies a little nicer. These shades are beautiful and you can also put them, as I said, onto the cheeks. Okay, so let's take a look here. What if we wanted to take this kind of mm, really nude pink shade a little bit more purpley? I can stick my finger in there. You can stick a brush in there. Look at this. I'm just gonna mix them, so this is gonna be a unique color, why not? Look at that, just with my finger, and I can even take the blush brush into it, it does fit, and just go, I use this on my foundation, but that's fine. I just went in there. Again, that kind of monochromatic look, I really love it. I could put a little bit even in the eye socket if I wanted to. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go really red on the cheek. So let me go into this red shade right here. Look at that, look at that. And then I can put it on with my hands and then smooth it up and do kind of a flushed, blushed look if I wanted to. Very different look. And I'm gonna take that same red shade and then I'm gonna put that onto the lips and I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna take my brush here 
because it's a darker shade. And again, I'm wearing that as a stain. I could put a gloss over that, it's super creamy. I know I'm mismatched on the cheeks, but you get the idea. I love it. Now this is a pretty penny, it's $80, but I, to me this is worth it because I, I like this look. I'm a little uneven on my cheeks here. Let me even it out a little bit. Um, I like this look. I like the fact that I can make mix, I can add a little bit, I can look at my outfit and say, oh, it needs a little bit of pink, it needs a little bit more red, still mismatched here. And you know, I can add whatever is needed and I really, really like that. So I just wanted to show it to you because Issa was kind enough to send it over and I've been having a lot of fun with it because I've been basically ground, grounding my looks with it. So when I have a day that I'm not on camera, I've just been doing a little bit of light foundation and then I've been matching my lips to my cheeks. I could even put a little bit into the crease of the eye and it just feels fresh and put together in these, well, in Southern California are these really hot days leading into fall. I just feel like it's a really kind of polished look. Even though I know it's a bit mismatched now because I've just been playing with it to show you, but I could take the look cool or warm into these purple shades, mauve shades, orange shades, fiery red shades, even neutral shades. And you know, when you're looking for that your lips but better look, you can mix it here if you can't find it. You can mix it on the lips, you can mix it in a, in a little palette or on the back of your hand. And I just really like it. And use my little trick if you would of the eye pencil brush. I just think it works really well for putting on lipstick and I've been having a lot of fun with this. I thought you might too, so I wanted to give you all the information on it and put all the links below to grab it. It is $80, but if you think about how many shades you get and how many times you can combine them and how comfy they are and pretty as blush as well, I personally, I like it and I like Isom and I wanted to thank them and show it to you and show you what I've been doing with it. Let me know any questions that you guys have below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. And don't forget you can become a bigger part of this YouTube community by becoming a channel member for weekly gossipy lives. Uh, you can also give super thanks or just shop from those links down below. The links don't cost you anything, but they give a little bit back to the channel. But honestly, in any way that you choose to be here with me, I am thrilled to have you and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.